Karen. Tune up. My name is Brian Mayerson. I'm a medical student at UCF. And uh, I work in the ER all the time. And I find that the patient will walk in. They have health care insurance. However, the coverage that they have doesn't actually cover the expenses. And they're kind of confused because what's the point of having insurance if it doesn't work for you? So we went out into the community to find out if this is actually like a common thread. We had 20 interviews with 20 people who actually had insurance, the majority of which hated their insurance. Not because it was cheap, because it was pretty affordable, but when they went to actually use their insurance, it didn't do anything for them. So we kind of figured out the problem was that their insurance that they're buying isn't right for them. We have 80 likes on our Facebook page for people who are looking for a website that makes the insurance buying process easier. We spoke to five people in the healthcare industry and they completely agree that the system is messed up. Um, but you know what, let's hear from some of our of the people that we spoke to. This is crazy. Healthcare expenditures is the number one cause of bankruptcy in America. People have healthcare insurance. We do know that 45 million people are uninsured or 6 million are, are underinsured, but even the people who are insured, it's not working for them. How can we help them get the right insurance that they need? Health insurance companies stratify risk based on a whole system of metrics that they know will make them the biggest buck. So we're gonna flip the whole system upside down and use their same system to empower the consumer. So just a quick demo of how the product would work. We have an app that you click right into. You input your basic information that is on every single website. However, the differentiating factor is that we ask specific questions geared towards your life, to your habits, so we can really tell the insurance for you. So you put in your information, you click next. Oh, do I go to the gym and work out once a week? Yeah, all right, click. The prices change in real time because you're actually a healthy person. So the insurance actually wants you. Uh, <laughs> do I do extreme sports? Yeah. Price changes again in real time. Probably increase for you. But basically, we're creating an insurance package that is tailored for the individual person. Now, we're not actually selling the insurance. We're connecting them to the insurance companies. Now, uh, quick question. Has anybody has actually been on healthcare.gov? Has anybody actually tried it? Yeah. yeah. Difficult, isn't it? Completely yeah. difficult. Yeah. I tried it. I couldn't even log on, create a username. It was impossible. Uh, but right now, we have 48 million people who are uninsured and looking for healthcare coverage by March of next year. They have no idea what to do, no idea what plan to buy, and there's complete chaos, complete confusion, and there's literally no transparency in a trillion dollar market. Yes, trillions. Now, on Google, just last month alone, 244,000 people searched how to buy health insurance. 500,000 searched clarity on health insurance alone. Now, what we want to do as a company is basically be the transparent company. We want to be the cars.com of health insurance. That is our goal. So once we get these people on our website, we want to have them create a profile that matches the insurance that they need. This is a free service for anybody that logs onto our website. If they like the insurance that they find, that's perfect. Go ahead. Buy our insurance. It's fantastic. All we do is build the insurance company in 50 bucks, charge to insurance company, and that's it. That's a Hi guys, come on up. So a lot of people do what you're talking about doing. You checked out the competition? Yes, sir. Yeah. So basically, there's a company called eHealth. They've been around for about 13 years, and they make hundreds of millions of dollars a year. The CEO is paid 2.4 million dollars last year, but they don't customize the insurance for the person. They ask them very complicated questions that say, do you want to pay X amount for a deductible for your copay? We don't want to ask those kinds of questions. We want to say, if you go to the ER, can you pay two grand? If the answer is no, that's the same answer as your deductible. So we're going to make it very simple to use for the consumer, but on top of that, we're adding the healthcare portion. If you're 35 years old, you're predisposed for a whole host of, of conditions. The insurance companies know that, and that's how they 
give you a price. But what you don't know is how to actually use that information to your benefit. Did you talk to anybody who works for any of these big, large insurance companies to see if they'd be interested? So unfortunately, it was Saturday and Sunday, <laughs> but we did talk to an insurance agent who works for, uh, with them. And he said that what we're talking about is kind of unique in the sense that um, we're giving information to the patient so they can choose the actual insurance that they need based on like, their health care needs. But the interesting thing is that people kind of know what they need, but really, they don't because they have no idea that they're going to be sick later on in the year. So we can predict using an algorithm whether or not that individual, but it's more like population health, will be sick and will need that kind of care. The data in the total addressable market, things that you touched on, seem to be based on health care, but most of us get it through an employer, so that would sure. have to be excluded probably from your map. So not really. The reason why we see that is that the health care, oh, not, I'm sorry, that employers have like a three-tiered system, you know, the gold, the bronze, and the silver. The way that health care is shifting, you know, there are so many options out there. Why should you, even though that you are at an employer, be limited to those options? So eventually, your employer will be able to let you shop on the market. By 2016, they're supposed to have a mandate that help with subsidies from your employer. So that doesn't happen yet, but in two years from now, it should change. And can you talk a little bit more about what the, um, you know, what your revenue stream is? How is this specifically going to work? Because I know you were kind of cutting off right here, starting to get to the GC part. Yeah, yeah, I was going to get to that. So we're going to charge a flat rate of 50 bucks. I mean, normally health brokers, they charge anywhere from 100 to 200 bill to the insurance company. But our job is basically tailored to the client. Um, we're not here to service the uh, insurance company. So what we're trying to do is have those people who are searching for how to buy health insurance be on our platform. And that's going to create a revenue stream. Once we have them on our platform, we build a relationship with them, and then we get them back on our sites to get better health care if the health situation changes. And a year later, after their insurance expires, they can actually come back and get an alert saying, hey, by the way, your plan is, is up, but based on the way that you've been using your health care, this new plan would actually be better for you. So we can prompt them to get a better plan in the future. And over the year, we can actually accumulate information from everyone in the system. So if they answer the survey based on their information, we can actually compare that to other people with similar information with a similar plan. And if it works out for them, then maybe that plan would be the best for that person. Well, Thank you very much.